you know if you overheat it or barbecue your engine if they're more sensitive to that but this is the jeep one of the gp 1200 motors Welcome. Okay, I'm just recording our progress here. Uh, I, I'll, let me come back to this in just a minute. Jason's still messing with his 554-40 pump thing. This is the Jeep, one of the GP1200 motors. I actually stripped the other one down earlier and figured out the other one, all the reeds, it has had aftermarket carbon fiber reeds and not a single one of those suckers was sealing. Not one of them. So absolutely shot reeds in the other one plus it had a water leakage uh it was on this water box gasket right here and so the back cylinder on the other one was getting water it was all milky in there but you know i i had torn that one all down because i wanted to find the water leak and stuff and you know verify that i got everything taken care of on these engines because you guys saw they were they did run actually this one actually, this engine ran a good lap time, so it was working well at wide open, but it was having trouble in the idle area. So <clears throat> I was, I found some kind of weird stuff in the carburetor for that one, one of the carbs. Jason sort of said, yeah, one of the carbs was weird. So yeah, I pulled it apart and it's just got some weird junk going on. So it needs a rebuild kit and at least one of the carbs. And then also the reed this reed these reeds aren't sealing it's probably hard to tell on the camera because you know you're talking like paper thin of not sealing but these this one's not sealing so that all makes sense why that one wouldn't idle good but it would you know run really good when you're really getting into it because faster you're going you know the more fuel it's flowing through the reed so it's not as cri as critical that it closes all the way but uh yeah it always is important to have good reeds in your reed valve two-stroke engines um and i'm just surprised that the aftermarket carbon fiber ones were just so incredibly bad i probably should show you guys that real quick here into the dungeon of parts okay this is the other engine i don't know why this matters but it's you know it's torn down quite a bit more i just wanted to show you guys the reeds i'm like here in the dungeon i gotta like unbury these suckers ah crap let me just turn this off and i'm back Okay, here we go. I got the aftermarket reeds here. And uh, not entirely sure how well you can see this on camera. I'm trying to get really close. But you can see right under these. And they're not strong like, they don't snap close strong at all. And it's literally like that on every single one of these aftermarket carbon fiber reeds. And I don't know if the, the uh, carbon fiber ones are more sensitive to like, you know if you overheat it or barbecue your engine if they're more sensitive to that but the stock ones if you uh, uh grenade your engine usually on whatever cylinder you blew up you'll have them like this these ones are a little bit melted and they don't seal very good so see if you can probably can see through these like that i don't know I guess you might have to just take my word for it there. You're crap.